Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the Temple of Light, Center for Spiritual Living in Kingston, Jamaica. Jamaica, the wonderful and beautiful land which we have been blessed to live in and some of us to be born in on this fantastic planet Earth. So our hearts are just so filled with gratitude this morning as we enter into this service with our opening affirmative prayer. God is all there is. And that which we know as God is the creative principle of wisdom and beauty which underlies all that is manifest and unmanifest but continues to prompt its creation to reveal more of itself, of its beauty and its goodness. This morning's service is truly a manifestation of the wisdom and beauty of that creative principle, that divine we call God. So we know that it is filled with the power and the energy, the vitality that typifies our Jamaican people the boldness, the courage, the wonder of the collective consciousness of the people we call Jamaicans. We know this is true of all the people of the world, including those who are joining us now from the World Wide Web. And so we know that it is this collective consciousness that fuels this service with its vitality. We know it is that wisdom which unfolds as the words that are spoken, the songs that are sung. It is that which unfolds easily, effortlessly, joyfully, and with great fulfillment throughout this service this morning. So we accept it as a wonderful, wonderful event, a wonderful moment in infinity in eternality, and we give thanks that we are part of this, and we know that it is so, and so it is, so it is. Okay, I have the pleasure of sharing our in inspirational message this morning. Let me move it away from the mic a little bit. And it's from the words of Marcus Messiah Garvey, national hero of Jamaica, civil rights activist, philosopher, poet, new thought advocate, and most of all, Jamaican. Chance has never satisfied the hope of a suffering people. Action, self-reliance, the vision of self and the future have been the only means by which oppressed, the oppressed have seen and realized the light of their own freedom. Now, no man has ever seen God. Suppose you, like Christ, could see God. What a wonder and amazement. Christ saw God behind the universe as man. Christ was an object lesson to man's glorification and knowledge. Therefore, if you approach thought with the deepest sublimity, you may see much as Christ saw when he saw God. It is thought that created the universe. It is thought that will master the universe. Man must therefore use his thoughts to the limit to get the best results from the universe. Proper thinking may lead you suddenly into the conquest of that which heretofore was a mystery. If man can think most excellently, 
then he climbs in that excellence to the companionship of the most excellent. So brush away the cobwebs of your mind and see the universe as looking through a crystal because beyond you, all is bright and beautiful. The darkness is in you. See the light, see the light. We want knowledge to lighten our darkness. Bring down the light and knowledge into your soul and flash it through your mind like the spark from the thunderbolt and all creation will ignite in one glorious illumination. And you will pass through the mysteries of the universe with the knowledge and eyes of God. The words of Marcus Mazaya Gavi, New Thought Advocate, and our own Jamaican who brought New Thought to Jamaica before we knew it as New Thought here. So, our praise song. We have some help here. Ah, praise song. It's Land of My Birth, and the lyrics by Winston Wallace, arranged by Astley Grob Cooper. Astley Grob Cooper. This is the land of my birth. This is the land of my birth. I say this is Jamaica, my Jamaica. The land of my birth. I will never leave her shores. I will never run away. I will always believe in the black, the green, the gold, I say. All nations greater for their trials. We must face the test of time. That our people, they are strong and we are going to get along. Though some people say we are poor. But the progress you make, my friend, is not always how rich you are. This is the land of my birth. I say this is the land of my birth. I say this is Jamaica, my Jamaica, the land of my birth. Let us stop for a minute, count our blessings one by one. We should never be disloyal, but stand up and keep strong. My Jamaica is a beautiful island. She is the pearl of the Caribbean Sea. And our people, they are free. No oppression here to see with the prettiest woman there be. And the hills and the plains and the rivers and the valleys always beckon to me. This is the land of my birth. I say this is the land of my birth. I say this is Jamaica, my Jamaica. This is the land of my birth. People, we didn't do too badly with the help, the lot of help by Honey. Thank you so much, Honey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, we will say the prayer of our center, and that's found on your flyer, and it's also for those who are on the World Wide Web, you can see it there as well. So, the prayer of our center. The Temple of Light Center for Spiritual Living is a sacred field embodying our spiritual community from which the Christ, peace, love, and joy emanate to touch, to heal, to press, to prosper, and to liberate anyone who comes into contact with it in any way. The light of the Christ illumines us, our center and our environment. Our spiritual community is filled with and surrounded by the presence of God and is growing from strength to strength. 
The power of God expands our consciousness of truth, guiding us ceaselessly along the paths of wisdom, spiritual growth, unfoldment, and attainment. We are blessed, and to God be the honor and the glory forever. And so it is. Okay, you may sit while I light the candle. I light this candle for all the children of the world, and I want you to bless them along with me. We love you, we appreciate you. We see you as shining lights onto your world. God is blessing you now, and so it is. And now, the Temple Mission song, written by our beloved, Noel Dexter. I thought you were all going to shout it. Noel Dexter. The temple of light, the temple of light, the temple of light. We are a people with a vision, one in spirit on a mission to touch, to heal, to bless. To prosper, to love and liberate anyone who comes into contact with us any time, night or day. The temple of light, the temple of light, the temple of light. We are a people with a vision, one in spirit on a mission. To touch, to heal, to bless, to prosper, to love and liberate anyone who comes into contact with us any time, night or day. And for Reverend John, yay! <laughs> I'll say it for him, he's on holiday today. And now for our announcements. So, do we have any first-time guests with us today at this very special morning of our Independence Weekend in Jamaica? Any special guests? If so, please stand. Stand. Well, we, we have a special congregant and member with us this morning. Again, Dennis, welcome, dear Dennis. Welcome back. Welcome home. So, moving on, live streaming, we are still live streaming every Sunday at 9 a.m. and on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. The recording is also available later on YouTube. The schedule of our temple activities is posted online on the Temple of Light Facebook page. This coffee is taking a little break while Reverend John and Reverend Michael record enjoy a restful and well-deserved holiday. Well, we are for those people who love food, don't we all? Our 40th anniversary Jamaican luncheon. We continue to celebrate our 40th anniversary with a takeout sumptuous Jamaican luncheon to be served on Friday, August 27th, 21, 2021. Details of the menu, cost, and how to order will be sent in a flyer that will be posted to the email of all temple members and friends. And feel free to share it with your friends. The caterer is none other than Great House Caterers and it is 
our beloved Thea Smith, who will be the person who takes care of the menu. Join us in this fabulous venture as we celebrate our coming of age, our coming of age. Now we have a very exciting new event for our, our church, something new. It's called Prosperity Adventure. And we are delighted to announce our 12-week Prosperity Adventure. It will be on Wednesday evenings from September 15th to December 1st. Join us to discover the spiritual and practical principles for building financial freedom. So kindly visit our Facebook page for details of this course. Quiet moments in the garden, our beloved Reverend John Scott continues on Monday mornings to bring to us quiet mornings, moments in the garden. And it's just refreshing and insightful early morning pickup for the beginning of the week and the beginning of the day, that day. So if you feel moved to support our ministry, kind of visit our donate page at donate.templeoflightcsl.org. Remember, donate.templeoflightcsl.org, which has our banking details. And we just are so grateful for the generosity of all of us who continue to help the Temple of Light to continue to be a beacon of light to our world. For prayer support, we continue to respond with prayer to the challenges of this special time. A practitioner is available to pray with you immediately following our service every Sunday. On duty today is Reverend Anne Shand, and the number to call is 876-289-0907. Two eight nine zero nine zero seven, and remember eight seven six. And you can speak with a minister from Monday to Friday, eight a.m. to midnight, by calling two eight nine zero nine zero seven. Just remember, it's the same number as you will call this morning. And this concludes our announcements. And please join us in singing our first hymn. Oh, one of my beloved hymns. Ours, oh Lord, a mighty nation. So we, who we are going to sing lustily from wherever we are, and it is found on page three of our flyer. So please stand and just belt it out with all the warmth and love that I know is in our hearts.
Down. We all sung our hearts out. And now to continue this celebration of life and of our beautiful land, I invite Vance Gardner to come and give us his usual powerful, clear, inspiring talk. Let me unmask and let me unmask reality this morning for everyone, so to speak. We must give up the silly idea of folding our hands and waiting on God to do everything for us. If God had intended for that, then he would not have given us a mind. Whatever you want in life, you must make up your mind to do it for yourself. So said the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. And Ernest Holmes tells us that nothing can be more apparent than that man, as he now appears, is the result of growth and unfoldment. But in order to unfold, he had to have something from which to unfold. And since he's intelligent, he must have unfolded from an intelligent cause. Man is created with attributes of self-choice and free will. But he must be left alone to make the great discovery for himself. Good morning, Temple of Light. And welcome everyone in the sanctuary and those joining us online and those joining us in consciousness. Today's service is a celebration of Jamaican Independence Day, which took place on August 6, 1962, and is now celebrated on August 6 every year. This was the day we claim political independence with all the possibilities and responsibilities associated with being a politically independent nation state. True independence, however, requires a people emancipated from mental slavery with a collective consciousness of self-reliance and an individual consciousness of inner dependence. Authentic liberation requires us to challenge our beliefs, values, attitudes, and the words we use to express ourselves. We must go beyond our comfort zones and look at the beliefs behind the words 
to understand why and what we are creating in our lives and how to change it. From this consciousness, we can sing our own songs. Holmes tells us that we have to make the great discovery for ourselves of the individualized expression of the divine unfolding as you and me for ourselves. But where do we make this discovery? Is it from schools, churches, friends, family, or any external influence? No, my friends. This discovery can only be made by going within. Just as our coaches can help an athlete, we have to learn our discipline and run our own races for ourselves. How then can we sing our own songs? First, we must believe in ourselves. Marcus Garvey tells us that I trust that you will so live today as to realize that you are masters of your own destiny, masters of your fate. If there's anything you want in this world, it is all for you to strike out with confidence and faith in self and reach for it. We must start with confidence in ourselves. Secondly, we must learn to trust our intuition, not our egos. Again, Garvey tells us that the ends you serve that are selfish will take you no further than yourselves, but the ends you serve that are for all in common will take you into eternity. So meditate, not imitate. And that is the guiding principle. Although we can all learn from best practices, it is best to be discerning and adapt, not adopt or copy them uncritically to please others. To sing our own songs, we have to spend time in solitude, going within, as Emerson recommends in his essay, Self-Reliance, to express from our authentic selves rather than trying to get recognition from others. Allowing what is to be expressed rather than trying to allow external influence to determine your expression. Also recognize the difference between being impulsive, which is merely lack of self-mastery, and to use that as your excuse. Some people use that as their excuse to say that they are being themselves when they are just being merely impulsive. And that really demonstrates that you don't know yourself. Mindless, insensitive, irresponsible actions and activity are never genuinely authentic. Actions and activities. Intuition in us is the voice of God. Therefore, it cannot be divisive, hurtful, and inconsiderate. Because God is one and cannot be divided against itself. Self-reliance, or what we in science of mind call inner dependence, requires us, as Emerson put it, to get our bloated nothingness out of the path of the divine circuits. Friends, we are all a part of God, expressions of the divine. And this acceptance and acknowledgement is the basis of true independence. Self-reliance, self-mastery, interdependence, or authentic liberation, or whatever we call self-knowingness. To sing our own songs requires diligence. To know oneself requires the consistent practice of meditation and reflection. The voice of God, although heard in the silence, is always speaking to us, but by only becoming present to it through meditation and other mindfulness practices, do we learn how to listen and follow it. 
Socrates grasps this truth that the unexamined life is not worth living. The proper appreciation of, uh, the, sorry, the proper appreciation of our life examines the role of cause and effect in determining how our lives manifest our experiences. We can then, through thanksgiving and healing, hear the songs in our hearts and sing them. Beloved Marcus Garvey played a beloved Marcus Garvey played a major role in raising the consciousness of people, particularly of African descent, to our own innate right to make our choices for ourselves from a place of confidence, pride, and self-knowingness. This is a reason why he was among the three first people who were acknowledged as national heroes of the Jamaican people and why the black star is in the Guyanian national flag and was dedicated to him by Kwame Nkrumah. And out of this consciousness came our song, a national anthem. Not a aim to any flag, monarch, or deity, but a prayer. An affirmative prayer of light be our light through countless hours. To our leaders, great defender, grant true wisdom from above. Give us vision, lest we perish. Knowledge send us, heavenly Father, grant true wisdom from above. It is a, also a Jamaican prayer of peace and love. Within the Jamaica collective consciousness, there was always this knowledge that interdependence is true independence as shown in our anthem. Garvey's own life was a testament to the power of self-knowledge, self-confidence, and original thinking. Even before Walter Rodney's How Europe Underdeveloped Africa and Chancellor Williams' The Destruction of Black Civilizations, the books which opened my own eyes to the achievement of Africans, which was not taught in school, at least not while I was growing up. Garvey was teaching about the achievements of Africans and the capacity of all people, regardless of race, to govern themselves and do magnificent things. Professor Lloyd Bess, a leading intellectual in the New World Group, which was very influential in the development of original thinking in the Caribbean region, stated in Thought and Freedom that we are all part of God and therefore perfectly capable of overcoming our challenges by thinking for ourselves and trusting our original thought. Our original thought is effective when coming from that consciousness of being divine and in alignment with divine principles. It takes a great deal of confidence to trust that inner voice and stick to your original thought and vision when everyone and events are telling you otherwise. At five feet and probably a little more, a little more than five feet, weighing just about 50 kilograms or thereabout, young Megan Simmons wrote in her yearbook at St. Andrews High School for Girls in St. Andrews, Jamaica, that she would win an Olympic medal in the 100-meter hurdles. Now, in 2010, when she wrote that, no Jamaican female had won any medals in that event at the Olympics. Skeptics told her that as the hurdles got higher and she began running as a senior, she would struggle because she's vertically challenged and small, but she held her confidence. 
And even when she won titles at the Carifta level, many believe she would struggle at the higher level. Apart from her height and size, Megan faced a far greater challenge in the competition for places on the Jamaican team. She had to compete against a former world champion, two former world junior champions and world record holders at the junior level, and former champion at the collegiate level in the United States. But she believed in herself and her inner voice, and today, Megan Tapper is the bronze medal winner from the Tokyo Olympic Games. David Archuleta said that there's a purpose and it has been within you all along. And when you are near it, you can almost hear it. It's like a symphony. Just keep listening and pretty soon you will start to figure out your part. Everyone plays a piece and there are melodies in each one of us, and oh, it is glorious. And you will know to let it ring out as you discover who you are, and others around you will start waking up to the sounds that are in their hearts. We can sing our own songs, but our best songs are not ego-centered but from the consciousness of what Jamaicans say is the I and high. I and the most high are one. It is so amazing what we are creating. So your assignment for this week is to create something original from within. Any original piece of, write a song like Sandy Cooper, <laughs> or painting. Just do your original expression from within. Yes, my friends, it is truly amazing what we are creating. So in closing, I am leaving you with a song written by practitioners Sandra Cooper, as stated earlier, and the music by Steve Golden, and produced by Mikey Bennett, and with the vocal arrangements by Sharita Lewis, and also Kurik played a part in this arrangement. Thanks for blessings grand Peace 
and joy and loving kindness are our gifts for all to see. Lift our voices high in gladness for our temple standing free. Alleluia, alleluia, in our hearts there is a song. Alleluia, alleluia, as I walk each day along. Alleluia, alleluia, hear God's vibrant harmony and the rhythm it is sending. Alleluia, alleluia, in our hearts there is a song. Alleluia, alleluia, as I walk each day along. Alleluia, alleluia, hear God's vibrant harmony. And the rhythm it is sending of new glories yet to be. And the rhythm it is sending of new glories yet to be. Namaste. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Vance. I was making copious notes, but I do intend to start a new sermon. So I just tell you the thing that jumped out at me. Free will, free will is our gift. We all have free will. And choice is our creative responsibility. And we, to be able to exercise that, we have to increase our awareness. And awareness is an inner journey. Increasing awareness is an inner journey. And the thing that jumped at me most of all, I shall quote it all along. Meditate. Don't imitate. Say it. Meditate. Don't imitate. Thank you, thank you, Vance. I truly, truly Enjoy that, and I go away inspired. And I now have the pleasure of inviting her niece, Lalu, to thrill us with a song.
Wow, that was truly beautiful, Annie. <laughs> and we really have some wonderful songs composed about our island. Truly, it's really a gift, this island of ours and the Jamaican people that we need to just celebrate and appreciate. I'll just recognizing that we do celebrate all peoples, but we also have to celebrate our own and have confidence in our own. So that I'm not gonna ask you to join me in the prayer of Jamaica. The prayer of Jamaica, the radiant, the radiant light, light of, of God's, God's love, love is, is now flowing, flowing through to us and from us to everything and everyone it touches. It touches. The, the eternal light, light of God's, God's love now completely fills, covers, and surrounds our island Jamaica. The glowing intensity of the light of God's love now interpenetrates and awakens within the hearts and minds of our countrymen and women the truths of life which set free. The light of God's love is growing and glowing in intensity in the hearts and minds of mankind everywhere. Love, health, harmony, goodwill, peace, uprightness, integrity, joy, prosperity, kindness, and our oneness under God are now established, and so it is. I'm going to ask you to remain standing as we do our second hymn, Jamaica, Land of Beauty. your love offering, take it in your hands, and those who are at home can just put your hands over your heart, and just say with us, 
lovingly I give, joyfully I receive. Be thou fruitful, increase, and multiply. Bless, prosper, and enrich everyone whom you touch and replenish all of my financial affairs. So be it. Thank you, Father. And so it is. So, from riverside to mountain, from the cane field to the sea, our hearts salute Jamaica, triumphant, proud, and free. In this consciousness, we give thanks. We give thanks for the Most High. We give thanks for all who have allowed themselves to be give us this morning, knowing that we are all truly blessed. And we give thanks for our island, Jamaica. We give thanks for our Jamaican people, independent thinkers, creative people who have given to the world such great gifts in music, in art, in sports, in every single, in medicine, in every single endeavor of life. We know that we are blessed and we share our blessings with humanity. So we leave this place in that confidence, accepting our freedom, accepting our responsibilities, and knowing that we, at the Temple of Light, accept our responsibility to be at the leading hedge of healing, blessing, and liberating everyone who we come in contact with. This is our divine dharma. And we accept this mission with all the responsibilities involved, giving thanks, giving thanks that all this is so. And so it is. And now, I'm going to ask you to join me in the singing of our national anthem. Amen. 